Coming up, I learned how to taste coffee better, the quantified self movement is pretty interesting, and I bought a new thing that I can put on my body, because that's what I do. Let's talk about my week. Everything in here is swollen still. Number one! I spend a lot of my time in coffee shops, so it might surprise you to learn that I am not terribly discriminating when it comes to coffee. I've actually never been able to, to identify like the chocolate notes or the black fruit flavors or anything. So when I had the opportunity to participate in a coffee tasting session at Houndstooth Coffee, which is one of my favorite places in Austin, uh, I did. and. I learned one thing. What they did is they, they brewed the same kind of coffee three different ways. I think it was uh, French press, pour over, and clever. And we, we took a, a spoon and like, like dipped in a spoonful and slurped it so that we could get the full spectrum of flavors in our mouth. I couldn't tell the difference between the, the pour over and the clever, but I could tell the difference between those two and the French press. So I might have learned something and I'm definitely becoming a coffee snob. Number two. So I'm sure that many of you out there have heard of the quantified self movement. Generally, it refers to people who track a bunch of things about themselves and use that data to improve their lives, whether it's losing weight or getting healthier or eating better or all of those things all at the same time. Here in Austin, we have a local chapter of the quantified self group. It is organized by Mark and Lori Frick. Lori, I highly recommend you all check out. She has done artworks representing her self tracking data and she she did a local TED Talk at TEDx Austin. I'll link that in the doobly-doo. During this week's meeting, we had an excellent roundtable discussion that got into some of the, the hairier issues of uh, quantified self, like data privacy and uh, the effectiveness of an N equals one experiment. If you're just looking at yourself, how much can you really generalize that? Can you even generalize that? If you too are interested in the philosophy of the quantified self, check out Chris Dancy's interview with the Buddhist geek podcast. I agree with Chris on a lot of his points, uh, but I'm curious what y'all think, so listen to the interview and come back and comment on the, the video and stuff. Number three. Wearable tech is one of the big things that got me interested in the Quantified Self Meetup. I bought a Nike Fuel Band last year, and I have used it a lot, and I have some mixed thoughts on it. Link in the doobly-doo. I'm almost embarrassed to say how many pre-orders I made in 2013 for wearables that will come out this year. Two Mayo armbands, a Momoto slash Narrative, Naimi Sensor, Angel Sensor, a Sculpt Aim, and finally, the Kiwi Move, which has a really neat video and looks like it could be an interesting competitor to some of those other ones. When it comes out, I will definitely tell y'all whether it is wonderful or not wonderful or somewhere in between. Yes, I am crazy, and I know what you're thinking. Yes, there will be a video where I wear all of them on both wrists and, and do this. All right, that's it. I'm gonna cut it off at three today because my allergies are absolutely killing me. As always, transcript, show notes, all that good stuff is down below. I've left a few extra things there, and this raspberry pie is awesome. You should subscribe. Uh, I hate cedar pollen, but I love you. I'm Steven Torrance, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>